This is Mark Lazell and you're watching Sport and Acons. Right, thank you very much to Jaffa. Phil Jeffries, the top boxing manager and promoter from the northeast of England. Quality guy he is for sending me the latest British Boxing Board of Control statement regarding what the future plans are for boxing. Now, I'm not going to go right the way through and read every word of it. If you want to read it, I'll put it in the description box for you. But in brief, I'm going to give you the bulletin points for it. Now, first of all, they're looking to come back in July. They hope in July. Of course, it's still a guest day at the minute, but with them liaising with the government, they seem to believe that they may be able to start boxing in July, but it won't be for the general public. The general public will not be allowed in the arenas, the stadiums, whatever it may be, in fact, boxing will have to be behind closed doors with no more than five fights on the card. They go through their reasons and everything about um, the NHS medical team. Um, they don't want to be adding any kind of burden to them with these kind of events. So they're going to put on as few fights as they can, like, like, like um, a maximum of five, and it will be behind closed doors. There will be a, um, extreme social distancing within these fights as well. So the judges will have to be way apart. Um, the corner people and, and this that, and the other will be staying away from the other corner. All that kind of stuff, okay? So it will be extreme social distancing, no crowd whatsoever. Um, all the fighters will be tested as well. And... Of course, the fighters with the weigh-ins and all that kind of thing, they're going to have to be wearing masks, etc., etc. So that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Um, now, five fights per, per boxing event, that's fine. Now, these, this can only benefit, for here in the UK, of course, this can only benefit Matchroom and Frank Warren. I'm not even too sure that it would even benefit the MTK shows, to be honest with you, because... MTK and all the other um, small hall shows around the country, they rely on gate receipts. That's what gives them the revenue. So those who have TV, there's the option, there's a the platform. So again, any, any promoter out there who has some form of TV, you might be okay. But even then, they're not gonna be earning too much money because a lot of them do rely on the gate receipts. So if there's no gate receipts, can many of these promoters afford to be putting on shows? I would have to say no. But Eddie Hearn, Frank Warren, of course, these two are um, the top two promoters here in the UK because they have big platforms, big broadcasting platforms with Sky and BT Sport. So they'll be fine. Um, it won't be ideal because obviously they want the gate revenue, but at the end of the day, it's something to kickstart boxing again and they want to be starting to do it in July. So I can't go against it too much. Um, hopefully, um, I mean, the country seems to be heading in the right direction if we were to believe news reports and what have you, that the numbers are not rising as high as what they once were. So it's starting to slow down, which is great if uh, people can just keep on doing your social distancing and following the rules for your own safety. So that is pretty much the British Boxing Board of Controls statement right now. They want to get boxing back in July, um, maximum five fights per event. They want to keep it behind closed doors. Everybody involved in the event will be tested. And then of course, they'll keep the uh, social distancing and all that kind of stuff. So that is the British Boxing Board of Control statement. Drop your thoughts below about it. Click thumbs up. Make sure you are subscribed. Catch you all in the next video.